Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of U.S. News by Billy, episode 39, today's date, July 24, 2023. Some of the things we'll be covering, U.S. UPS strike. They want air conditioning in their vehicles. Who could imagine such a thing? Gamma ray burst to hit the earth. We'll get into it. What's going on in Hollywood? An Israel civil war? Or possibly a coup, but I don't think they're going to coup Benjamin Netanyahu. He's having heart uh, problems. So the question now is, will he be able to serve his term? And Fed now, we know the evil and corrupt U.S. government wants wants to have the banks steal our money but no i don't think that's gonna happen some of my sources are god in the bible patriot subscribers pastor paul begley's recent uh, interview with mike from around the world watch woman 65 bp earth watch uh, l pay uh, english a new source for me hal turner a Steve Quell site, Daily Mail, Blaze Media with Glenn Beck. And we understand Glenn and Tucker Carlson are going to be getting together, it looks like. And we have this before its news, a recent, several recent interviews with Jim Willie and uh, also Mike Penny and Al Jazeera. So we've got some good sources going. So let's get started. Uh, I have a lot of Patriot subscribers who are bringing in out information about what's going on with their climate. So we'll get into it. We are having weather and earth changes in our weather systems. Absolutely. Seasons are changing. And this is having to do with the earth. And we have the sun. And we've also got a binary sun coming in. And when it gets here, it will recharge itself, drawing from the sun, leading to an ice age predicted in the WebBot data by Cliff High. And also a long-term um, climate models. Uh, with which I'm familiar. Okay. So I have this. I have a Patriot subscribers talking about um, things happening with the ozone layer of the earth. And that is correct. It has been thinning for years. The evil and corrupt uh, deep state tried to say, oh, it was human impact. Humans are few in number on the earth in terms of population density and cannot do anything that would impact the climate of the earth. That comes from inside and outside the earth and uh, put in place by God. And so that's going on. Yes, we do have, we have around the earth an electromagnetic shield that generates from inside the earth. So it's been weakening. Also the ozone has some cracks in it. So yeah, we do have more coming in from space. We have inside the earth magma warming up. Uh, I received that information from God in the fall of 2020. God said, pay attention to the magma. It's rising, especially along the edges of the tectonic plates. So we have earth changes inside the earth and outside the earth. So this is all factual and going on. Can we pray against deadly impacts? Absolutely. Who's in charge? That would be God. Now I have this. Uh, I have a Patriot subscriber who says, yeah, that was good information I put out recently in some videos about the heat. I had a near-fatal heart attack 
uh, yeah, a few months ago when our power was out for a few days. Yeah, there's been a correlation now between heat and heartbeat. I have a Patriot subscriber who uh, lives in, this is Africa. He lives in the small island nation of Mauritius. This is in the southern hemisphere, and he's talking about the climb, the uh, season changes. Usually, this uh, June and July would be cold months for them. They're in the southern hemisphere, and he's saying no. Uh, this was uh, a few days ago, and he says the temperature is like 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. This was on July 18. And so I looked up what uh, were the average temperatures for this time of year for Mauritius. And it looks like it is much lower, about 20 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So we see a, a difference in at least seven degrees, but he is asserting, yeah, never seen a summer like this. So well, season changes are going on. So that's happening. Now, I also had a, a uh, Patriot subscriber. She's from California. And she said... I've been, for years, I go out every day and sun, 30 minutes in the sun. Now, some people actually need more sun than other people. It depends on the melatonin in your skin. And she says, I go outside even when it's up to 104 degrees. You know, it's, it's not a problem for me. Well, if you're acclimated uh, in California, I'm not sure about the humidity but we had that recent uh, study I brought out by Penn State on at what temperature does the human body lose its ability to cool itself. And their finding was 87 degrees Fahrenheit with humidity at 50%. So that's much lower than the theoretical 90 and 90 uh, that I was familiar with, that if the temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity is 90%, your body lo loses its ability to cool itself. So now this new study is much lower. But I submit to you, because of factors that are happening now around the Earth, a thinning electromagnetic shield, thinning ozone uh, shield and layer, that more uh, harmful UV rays are reaching the earth. So that's going on. And now we have uh, Mike from around the world, recently interviewed by Pastor Paul Bigley. We believe Mike works for the NSA. Mike uh, knows stuff. And uh, so he came out on July 20. Pastor Paul Begley show, and he says in three weeks, we're going to have two gamma ray burst from space plus. So he didn't elaborate what is the plus, but gamma rays are the most intense form of UV uh, energy, high energy. They penetrate the UV rays that pass right through our bodies. That can cause DNA mutations like that. So he says uh, in three weeks, which would be about August 7 to 10, we're going to have two gamma ray bursts plus. It's going to be a precursor to a strong X flare from the sun. And the gamma ray uh, rays can damage... DNA cause mutations, penetrate the body. Yeah. So that's going on. So it's good to pay attention to 
what's going on with the weather and climate. Now, I have a Patriot subscriber from Palm Springs, California. And on July 20, it was 117 degrees Fahrenheit in Palm Springs. I have a Patriot subscriber who's talking about what's going on in Florida. You can look on Craigslist. Florida is trying to hire crisis actors. Oh, are they trying to put something forth on us? Yeah. We know how the deep state operates. Now we have this. This was new information to me. And this comes from L. K. English. This was a French source talking about a study that found out there's a precursor to earthquakes that can be measured on GPS. And uh, the way it works is all over the U.S. there are geodetic stations where GPS uh, uh, is a signal bounced from the satellites to a geodetic station on the Earth. And so the precursor for the earthquakes is uh, comes about 48 hours before the earthquake. And uh, it also can indicate that tectonic plates are moving. And it can also... Uh, calibrate information coming from AI systems. And so that's going on. So it says they found, they did a study, a study has been done, the precursor using the GPS for the earthquake. Uh, GPS uh, can indicate 58% of the time if a 7 or 7 plus earthquake is going to occur. So a 58% precursor, uh, and it doesn't say is the precursor hours or days. I would suspect it's probably hours. But at any rate, that's new information with regard to a precursor for earthquakes. And now we have this. Steve Quell uh, with Blaze Media. Uh, uh, no, Steve Quell's site. Blaze Media, Glenn Beck owns. And is collaborating, uh, we believe, with Turkle Carson to begin some type of collaboration. And we have this. An Australian intel agency is going to be funding a study uh, that's going to work with the Monash University and the Cortical Labs and the study uh, money put forth was $600,000 grant for, and the study is uh, the projection of merging AI with human brain cells. So, yeah, that's going on. And now we have this. So, we have about the UPS strike. Okay, UPS strike. And I had inside information that, yeah, it's going forward and it's going to begin August 1. Now, the burning question for a lot of people is who's going to deliver all those Amazon packages? Okay, I know I got my fair share for, sh for sh sure. Okay, the strike is going forward. August 1 is going to cost the U.S. economy about $7 billion. And the president of a large portion of the drivers and Teamsters Union, he 
represents 330,000 drivers. And so now we're they're coming forth with what do the UPS employees want? Well, for one thing, what they want, they <laughs> They want AC and all vehicles. And it's my position that this should be an OSHA requirement for working condition, an AC and heater in all vehicles. I mean, uh, I know living in Texas, I don't see how anyone could drive around in a vehicle without air conditioning. So one, they want that. Two... They want to drop a two-tier pay system. Now this uh, UPS that handles, I mean, some sources say 25% and some sources say 60% of all the packages in the U.S. They make a bunch of money for their shareholders. Their shareholders this year, 2023, will receive and divide among the shareholders $8.4 billion. They make a lot of money. They should put AC in all the vehicles. Now what they're doing, they try uh, to keep their employees part-time so they can cut back on paying their benefits. And when they do that, they also pay the part-time drivers less money, currently at $16.20 an hour. While they, the shareholders per hour, they're making, uh, what, millions? If they're receiving back billions in profits, yeah. Uh, so the drivers want to drop that two-tier system where part-time drivers make less money than full-time. And they also are asking to have a holiday off for Martin Luther King Day. Now, all of those things sound very reasonable to me. And so, I'm with the drivers. Go, baby, go. Strike. The shareholders are making billions and trying to keep the drivers no benefits, and we want to pay you virtually nothing, give you no air conditioner in your vehicle. Yeah. So that's going on. Now we have Mike Penny reporting what's going on in Hollywood. And apparently there are thousands of houses for sale, including many owned by actors and actresses, sports figures, corporation executives, and where are they? That's the question. So some of the homes for sale include Ellen DeGeneres, Johnny Depp, Matthew Perry, John Legend, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Cindy Crawford, Tom Cruise, and more. So that's going on. Hollywood, the people are getting out. And now we'll talk about this. Uh, what's going on in Israel? Okay. So, let me do this. Here we have, we have Israel. So, we've got Africa, Europe, Israel. So, this is going on. Baby Netanyahu. In the last few weeks or so, has been in the hospital. I understand he's being fitted with a pacemaker for his heart. So the question is, can he finish out his um, term? And we've been hearing about an evil and corrupt Israeli government. They want to take out the Supreme Court. They want to put in a dictatorship, and they want to say what religions can be observed in Israel and how. And, oh, if you mention Jesus Christ, we'll put you in jail for two years. So now the people, millions of them, have risen up in demonstrations, and uh, hundreds of, and thousands even of 
pil military pilots are saying, no, mm -mm, not flying for this government. And now 10,000 reservists have said, no, don't you call me to military duty. I'm not going. And the police have joined in also. So in Israel, some are contemplating a civil war, if not an out-and-out -out coup, because the people and the police and the military have joined together against an evil and corrupt Israeli government. So that's going on. And now we have this. We have what's going on with the U.S. economy. We know we have the Treasury Department. That's Janet Yellen. We saw bowing and bowing and bowing to Chairman Z uh, when she visited China to ask for money. Uh, I think the response was, shut up, Janet. Okay, Treasury Department that owns the Federal Reserve. It's now been rolled in for several years together. Now, the evil and corrupt deep state wants to put in a digital bank system. And this is, uh, they're trying to, to go global with it. In the U.S., it's called Fed now and bp earthwatch also reported on this as did uh, think a watchwoman 65 and some other sources so now what's happening it'll be a digital system and they will take your eye scan now i know in texas i ah, I would say 20 years ago, uh, there was a test uh, testing this software or taking your eye scan when you went to get your driver's license renewed. So that's going on. They've had it in the works for a long time. And they want to digitize your assets. So digitize your assets like we'll give you so many assets for your house, your car. And we control it. It's all digital. If you don't listen to us and follow our orders, we control your assets, your money, and we'll just cut you off. Yeah, that's gone away. I ran into a lady recently in the small town where I live who was having problems with Wells Fargo. She and her husband had three accounts there. Like he had one, she had one. They had a joint account, you know, for their house and money to come in. And uh, those two private accounts, hers and his, just disappeared. They'd had it in place for decades. Uh, and also... They were not receiving their direct deposit of their Social Security payments. What does this tell you? What does it demonstrate? It demonstrates how evil and corrupt and, and controlling a digital bank system can be. Oh, you think your money belongs to you? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Americans are not going to accept a digital bank system. Fed now is now in the process of rolling out a soft, we're calling it a soft, it's a soft launch to get American citizens used to it. Hello, ding dong, even non-Christians know about the beast system that's coming from evil and corrupt banking systems. Yeah, not accepting. So they're rolling out this soft launch. And this happened Thursday, July 20. And, uh, yeah, they're saying, oh, direct deposit can take several days. Of course, 
we'll have access to your money and we'll, you know, gamble it or deposit it. And then we'll give you credit for it. Yeah. And uh, they're saying it does not replace a CBDC. It's not really a digital system. You believe us, don't you? No, we don't. Uh-uh. And it's currently now in the U.S. at 10,000 banks, but it's an option. We're not cramming it down your throats. We haven't yet to go into your bank account and steal your money. Or have we? Because I just gave that example of that lady, uh, and I heard her personal testimony, and she, I just ran into her in the a drugstore. And she was talking about, she was trying to use her bank card and all the problems that were going on. And she just spent hours at the bank and how frustrated she was. Okay, that's going on. And now we have this from, uh, the, before it's news, there was an interview of Greg Hunter and Steve Quell. And the they're talking about now the international system which is BRICS so BRICS is allegedly to launch a new currency backed by gold in August on August 22 now the intel that Steve Quayle had was this is going to cause a problem in U.S. banks and our derivatives. And many U.S. banks, have, the big ones, have trillions. And these derivatives really have no value. <laughs> okay. So, you know, the objective is also to change the U.S. system to bring us into this Nasara that's also backed by gold and silver. So we'll have to see and pray about this. This is going on. Now, Jim Willey, Ph.D. economist from Costa Rica, is talking about the banks. Now, he says the U.S. banks are trying to bring down the European banks and they're doing that by not buying the European bonds and they're not buying the US bonds that the European banks hold and the strategy by the US banks is to bring the US banks down so the European dollars come into the US banks to increase the liquidity of the U.S. banks. But, and we see some evidence of European banks going down. This came out from End Times headlines uh, on the Steve Quell site today that in the U.K. they have 100 bank branches that are closing they're to close july 24 through august 31 and includes barclays natwest halifax large banks in europe now jim willie is bringing this out and uh, i place a, i have a lot of value uh and trust in Jim Willie as an economist. He's also a Christian. Talking about the BRICS now includes 80% of the nations, including Iran, Argentina, Japan. And many uh, uh, contemplate that the U.S. will eventually go into it. Now, in India, they are also testing a CBDC digital bank system. Now, this is the good news from Jim Willie. I believe, and it seems like a reasonable position. There's not going to be uh, 
no one form of global currency. Instead, there will be multiple. There will be the Russian ruble, the Chinese yuan, there will be the U.S. dollar, and so on. So that seems reasonable to me. So now we have a better understanding and I think a firmer footing and uh, things are going on in our economy. But with the change in our government coming up soon, uh, I believe uh, God will bless America again. So let's have a short prayer. This is based on America the Beautiful uh, words and lyrics by Bates and Ward. America. May our skies remain forever clear and blue. May amber waves of grain ever fill our plains. May pilgrim feet ever seek our shores who are aligned with God. To walk in a land of freedom by constitution. In a land of liberty by law. In a land of grace by blessing from God. And we say God bless America. Beautiful place of patriot dreams and of brotherhood from sea to shining sea. And we thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. It's good to remember God is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.